day. Welcome to Floral Design 1. My name is Carol and I'm going to show you how to do a small vase. First you get a small vase and you get some water, tap water, any kind of water. Bye. Then you take flower fresh that you get in your packages of flowers that you get at the store. And we're going to put about half. It's a small base. Put some of that in there. Now, if you don't have this, you might be using some flowers out of your garden. You can also crush up a aspirin and put that in there. Or you can use some lemon lime soda. Just put a couple of tablespoons in there. Stir it around. Okay. Our first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide whether we want this all the way around or we want it on one side. I'm going to do a one-sided arrangement. So with a one-sided arrangement, you will want your greenery to the back. You can put some greenery within it also, but the biggest amount will be in the back. This is leather leaf. Got it from the store. You can use other greenery. I have some greenery from some yellow bells that were in my yard. That's for Cynthia. And let's put a couple of those in. Now I'm going to cut this one a little shorter. going to talk about balance. Okay. When you're balancing, you either do it asymmetrical or symmetrical. First, we'll talk about symmetrical. Okay. Symmetrical is when you have it pretty much exactly opposite it. Now, you can make them exactly the same. Or you could have this one with small flowers in it, as long as it's about the same color and weight or size. Visual weight is what we decide where we're going to put the flowers also. The, the flowers that look like they weigh more, which means usually they're bigger, will go to the bottom of the arrangement so it doesn't look top heavy and the lighter ones, of course, to the top. Now that's our asymmetrical, I mean symmetrical. Now we'll do asymmetrical. Okay, this is where we can put one up here, as long as we balance it off with one down there. The same, you can have several small flowers here uh, or a cluster, and then you can have uh, as long as they're about the same size. Now you do this all over the arrangement. You'll have, you can have one right here, and then one right here. Now when you put one in the middle, it's pretty much on its own. It doesn't have to balance out anything because it is in the middle. That'll show you how you build your arrangements. Okay, so we're gonna put this gladiola right in the middle. So we don't have to balance him with anything. I think he's pretty. I'll talk about color in another or another video. Right now, we're just gonna go with some colors that look good together. Okay. Now this one. It's a bigger flower, so it's weight that's going to be heavier, so it's going to go in the bottom. Like that. Almost matches that gladiola. These are just roses from the store. You need to take the leaves off below the water line. You don't want any leaves because if you do, it'll make the water get nasty quicker. So 
those are so pretty. Okay, let's do one more. And then we're going to talk about rhythm. Rhythm is another thing you consider in the placement of the flowers. This tells you how, how the flowers relate to each other. Okay. In rhythm, you have your, we're going to put our flowers right here. Okay, now, the way you make a range that look nice, you take the amount of space between these two, you double it, and then you go up, double that amount above this, so it's like that. Just take that and double it. Okay. So we have this on here. Now, the same goes. You take your space between this one and this one, and you double it. So then you might have some little wispies going out this way, but they would be, need to go out further. And that's called rhythm. Okay. So let's, let's get some contrast. Maybe maybe these got a good contrast. Let's see, we're gonna go out a little further with them. Talk to you about some other greenery. You don't have to stay with just those. I did the for Cynthia, but there's other kinds of greenery also. Something like that. A Cuba might look good in a larger vase. Also, don't forget your plants. That's pretty nice looking right there. I could just put it. I could get that in there. That would give really good interest to this. And it's within the color scheme. Here, wow, that looks pretty nice. That looks nice. I like that. Now we're going to lighten it up a little bit. And you have filler. Filler can help with the unity of your design, because if you put the filler throughout, then it looks like it's a cohesiveness to the design. So we can put some of these Queen Anne's lace that grow in my yard. Something else you might have in your yard. Always good to peek around your yard and see what you have, or maybe a neighbor. The filler can go in the like the spots that don't have anything. It's always good. Live flowers will break on you sometimes if you are not careful. I've done both live and silk. I like doing either one. And there you go. There's your small vase. 
Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please click like, uh, please share it and click like, like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.